Okay, so before we actually get into the build of this, there are some things that I would like to explain. So first off, if, in case you didn't know, this is a minifigure scale Cylon Raider designed after the Cylon Raiders from the re 2004 reimagined Battlestar Galactica series. And second off, you might be wondering, well, literally every single other build that we have put up on this channel has been in a uniform color scheme. But this one is in crazy colors, and why is that? Well, this is actually going to be a three-part series, and this here is the prototype. So, when I ever I'm building, like, mocks like this, we've only done this one other time, and we didn't make a video of it because, um, it wasn't, it d just didn't work. But, um, anyways, I build it in the colors that we have available to us, but just so just the solid frame and then we build it in digital form on Bricklink Studio. Then after that we go through our own inventory inventory and see what pieces we actually have and then we order the rest of them to build the final model. So in case you're wondering about the scale of this, here is a minifigure. It's built to perfect exact minifigure scale. So um, that's something. Also, I tried to make sure all the proportions are correct, so here's a picture of it next to the real Cylon Raider. Now, um, a couple of the design aspects of this that I would like to point out are its, um, strength. So if I, can I zoom out at all? If I zoom out, I can actually pick it up by one of the wings, and this was actually a really hard thing to do to make it so it's strong enough to be able to do that. And if I go zoom in on that connection in there, here, okay, second, there we go. You can actually see how it connects if I take this wing off, there is this little thick connection, string of connections there, it's kind of weird. There's this Technic um, beam that runs, sorry about the focus, runs all the way through the um, sort of head of it, head of the model, and then there's a um, mixel joint right here that gives it that angle on the wings, and then there's another stud there attached by a bracket, oh my god, why won't you focus, that um, just adds a little bit more stability. And that brings us into another one of the more challenging aspects of this build. So if you look at the Cylon Raider from the show, you might notice it's very distinctive sort of angular design. And how it works is so this, all this back part in the actual Cylon Raider cants very ever so slightly backwards. So if you'll notice, the engines are not parallel to these, or these, this back part, not parallel to the main body. That's an intentional design, which made it a lot harder, and it's something that you don't really notice in other builds that was really hard to do. And also, the connection of making it so the wings actually can't down a tiny bit to get that extra bit of accuracy. Now this is definitely the most complicated model uh, we have ever done on this channel. And um, it really shows, in my mind, to its accuracy. And another difficult like challenge of doing this model is that um, no one's really ever done it in like this high quality. Now, of course, there's been like 50 different high-quality things of the Star Wars A-Wing, a ton of the X-Wing, but no one really, like, actually tries to build this in minifigure scale, partly because of its complex design and curvature that's really hard to replicate using Lego bricks. Now, if we actually flip the model upside down, you can see I detailed it just as much as on the bottom as on the top. And actually I kind of got bored when building this. Well, I didn't get bored, but I kind of wanted to make some sort of function. 
And if you'll notice, there are these hinges. Now, the Cylon Raider in universe was not only designed to be a fighter, but it was also designed to be a um, light bomber. So there are these bomb bay doors right here that actually fold open, and this is where they are in the show. You can see that little clip there. Now, I don't have a piece. I don't have the actual missile pieces that kind of got lost in our move. But basically, you can see that if I flip the model back over, there are these little... Here, I'll just... Sure, just take off the entire wing. There are these little bits of detailing on these top little humps, I guess you could call it. And these actually can be pulled out, and that's where that clip attaches to. Now, you might be thinking, well, if they can be pulled out, then um, that, what, th that seems like a flimsy design. It's not. It actually has enough friction in there to hold it in when the thing isn't attached. But the missile attaches to here, and then there's these little... There's the wall of it, and when you pull back up on the um, top, you can see it pulls the clip out, and that, and the actual missile interacts with the um, like center structural build of the actual wing, and that allows it to drop out. So it's um, and it's again not something that um, actually will really detracts from the build because not only does it give you that option if you're a child to mess around with this, but um, I also was able to get the detailing of the Bombay doors in there. So it's kind of a win-win in that aspect. So um, now, how about some of the, if we move on to some of the smaller details, you can, you may have noticed that one of the um, black kinetic energy weapon pieces has fallen off, but those are simply built with a couple of brackets and a ski piece to make that sort of look. And then the back, this is actually, for the engines, this is actually a detail that I really liked. So in the show, the engines don't like, you know, they aren't really a cone that goes outwards. They actually go like that instead of like that. I don't know. So basically instead of it being a design like that where it gets bigger towards the end, it actually gets smaller towards the end. And the way I did this was I just took a couple of minifigure heads and I put this um, tire around them and it just gets that look perfectly. And those just stud in there and it makes the build just you know, gives that extra little bit, bit of detail in there as well. And then also, and then now looking at the face, you might notice that I used um, some minifigure hands to get some grill detailing on, the, on one side, and it's not on the other. Well, that's because um, we just didn't have another one of those um, bar pieces to do that. Well, we did, but it got lost in the move, so that's not there. And then also you might notice that the um, actual red eye is missing of the Cylon Raider, and that's because this is just too small to fit that in and still get all the proportions to be correct. So that was something I decided to leave out just because I had to, but I did build in this a glow-in-the-dark piece into it, so you can't really see it right now, but here's some footage of it actually glowing. So that was one of the things that I had to detract from the model, which does kind of suck, but then again, you know, it's something that had to be done. Now, you might imagine that a model like this would be really flimsy and um, not very strong. Well, um, I actually experienced a, um, it's pretty darn strong. I mean, like I demonstrated earlier, you can pick it up by the wing, you can also even pick it up just by the head most of the time. Sometimes that happens. But one of the things that I usually try to do with models like this, Lego builds, is I try to make it so, say you're having someone over to your house and you have 
say, this chip on a thing, and they go over and they pick it up. Well, I don't really want them to, like, pick it up, and then they just break it immediately. So I try to make it so you can just casually, you know, move it around, pick it up by the head or by the wings, and it won't just shatter on you. So that was a design aspect that was really difficult for me to make sure that it was strong, but I ultimately did it. And just to show you how strong it is, here is some video footage of me actually dropping it from about one foot up in the air. See, it actually held together pretty darn well. Well, I um, hope you like this video. Part two is going to be coming out actually pretty darn soon. As of the posting of this video, I have already gotten the build in digital halfway done. So that is going to be coming out fairly soon and you will be able to see what it looks like in its correct colors. So hope you like that video. Stay tuned for more. Um, peace.